It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today is an experiment, an experiment to check out continental lager that has been brewed in the UK versus the actual continental lager where it's brewed. Now this is a little mini series of beers that I'm going to be doing. Uh, we got San Miguel coming, I've got Spanish San Miguel versus UK brewed San Miguel. But first of all, we're going to go with Stella. The lovely Rob, who went on holiday to France, brought me back some Belgian Stella Artois. And I thought he'd, put, he'd got me one can and one bottle. And what I would thought I would do is go around the shop, find something very similar, UK brewed, and put it up against one another. So we're going to start off with the bottle. Now, the UK beer has that paper neck. It's 284 millilitres versus the Belgian version, which is 25 millilitres. So it's a slightly smaller bottle of Belgian beer. But, 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 well, let's show you the bottle caps first. Um, gold bottle caps, very similar looking labels here. But the Belgian version is 5.2% ABV versus the British brewed Stella Artois, which is 4.6% ABV. There we go. So let's get the 5.2 version out into a glass and see what we get. First and foremost, this is the Belgian version. I've grabbed whatever glass I could for this. So the Belgian version is in the beer alive glass. I'll put them together. British version. It's got the Dahorn, interestingly, it's got the Dahorn around the, the neck here in an action. So lower in ABV, the British version, let's see if it's lighter in colour. Belgian, beer alive. Bubbles are larger. The British beer, the carbonation, is larger. That is not a good sign. Versus the Belgian version, we have very small bubbles. I know there's probably some people watching this thinking, why is that important? But I will explain later on. Also, the British version is very skunky. In that green glass bottle, the British beer is very, very skunky. That is almost intolerable. So skunkiness is when the hops get affected by light strike, being on a supermarket shelf under the UV lights or left out, not left out, but exposed to sunlight. And that is really skunky versus the Belgian version. Oh my goodness me. The difference, the difference in the aroma is night and day. I'm thinking British Stella, the aroma is terrible. Skunky, horrible and terrible. The Belgian Stella, Stella is, there's a nice sweetness to it. There's definitely more of a prominent kind of dry, hoppy, peppery, spicy aroma coming through. Unbelievable. Different beer. Right, let's uh, let's sip the British beer, the British brewed Stella Artois. Four point six percent ABV. 
a little bit aggressive on the, the carbonation on the on the mouth. <clears throat> a little bit over carbonated. And then you're just left with this kind of skunky hop striped mess of a of a beer really. Um Not much of a prominent hop flavour. There's hop bitterness, but not much of a hop flavour. Let's try the Belgian 5.2% Stella Artois. It's a completely different beer. This, this beer from Belgium is more refined. It's got more of a softer carbonation. You pick up much more of a hoppy, stinging nettle kind of spicy pepperiness coming through. It's drinkable. You're picking up the malt quality in the beer. I drink that and in fact I have I have drunk it I went to Belgium I went to the De Horn brewery where they brew Stella Artois in Leuven and I had a pint of Stella Artois at the brewery on the roof of the brewery where they did a special and, and the beer was really good I really enjoyed it really enjoyed it and the video was on YouTube to, to, to see it and you can see by my review of the of the Belgian video at the Stella Artois vi uh, brewery, that that I'm quite happy to drink Stella Artois in in, in Belgium. It, it's not a bad beer. What lets it down? What lets it down is the UK brewed stuff. So Belgian, British Stella Artois from the bottle. Now there should be no excuses with the can, should there? There should be no excuses whatsoever with the can of Stella Artois brewed in the UK. Let's check them out first and foremost. 5.2% uh, ABV Stella Artois brewed in Belgium in a half litre can. British 4.6% ABV Stella Artois 440 milliliter can. <clears throat> right. This time around, I'm going to open the British Stella Artois first. UK brewed, I should say. Stella Artois. People have asked and asked and asked for this video. Uh, the only problem was, was trying to source Belgian Stella Artois. I understand if you go to certain European shops, you might find Belgian brewed Stella Artois. But I had difficulty finding it. This is the Belgian brood. Stella Artois. There's no sediment, but it's just force of habit these days, really. <laughs> Swirl the bottom of the can round. Okay, my Toma Kapira glass, my Polish beer glass has the Belgian Stella. The Brains Brewery glass has the UK Stella. Is there any difference in colour? I would say no. Is there any difference in carbonation? I would say if anything, the Belgian Stella is slightly more carbonated than the UK Stella. 
the head looks exactly the same. So let's start off with the UK Brood Stella. No, let's swap things around. Let's swap things around. <sighs> Pardon me. Let's drink first and foremost, and let's get the aroma of the Belgian Stella. From a can. Again, slightly sweet, peppery. The hops are pronounced. Let's dive in. Yeah. Yeah, um, there's a little bit more of a pronounced bitterness, I would say, from the can. And maybe that's to do with that light strike. Maybe that's to do, I mean, I didn't find any light strike in the Belgian Stella. But it's peppery, spicy, it's drinkable, it's refreshing. slightly sweet yeah I'd have a few cans of that if I was in France or Belgium on holiday I would see no reason not to buy Belgian Stella Artois and enjoy Belgian Stella Artois let's try the British brewed Stella Artois in a can Sweet. The aroma is quite similar. I would say the British brewed Stella Artois is slightly sweeter. But it's got a nice peppery, spicy, hoppy aroma to it. Let's dive in. just nasty it's just really nasty stuff Stella Artois let's get the flavours out the way first and foremost <coughs> it's just got this horrible astringent flavour first and foremost it, it, it tastes watery Compared to that premium 5.2% ABV Stella Artois from Belgium, the British brewed version just tastes just watery and like there's no real body to it whatsoever. <clears throat> it's just got this nasty... astringent overly bitter like like they've used some kind of like hop concentrate or something instead of real hops or they've used something's very different it might be the water quality of the where the beer's been brewed it's just awful awful and i said this with my I did a bottle of um, Stella Artois unfiltered versus Stella Artois UK brew stuff. And the, the unfiltered Stella Artois was lovely, really lovely. British brewed Stella Artois. I, I think the company's made a massive, massive boo-boo. AB InBev here have made a massive mistake here. Stella Artois used to be a big brand in the UK. It used to be seen as a premium brand. You've seen the adverts on the television where, where you know, the, 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 the various, various, various adverts about Stella Artois on the television. And it used to be a big seller. You used to see in a lot of pubs. You used to see a lot of people drinking it. You know, you see a lot of people enjoying it at festivals in, in the UK and at beaches. And, and it was a big drink, but now, 
since they lowered it to 4.6% ABV, they've just ruined it. They've absolutely ruined it. And I would say, <coughs> <coughs> since, since they brewed it in the UK, for me, Stella Artois have been ruined. Absolutely ruined. Um, but my biggest frustration, my biggest frustration is, is that it's a well-known fact. People in the beer industry know it's a well-known fact that UK brewed continental lagers are nowhere near as good as their continental where it is brewed counterparts. But, but here's the question. Why in the UK do we always accept bare minimum? Why do we accept bare minimum? Why do we let this happen? Why do we let this happen? Why, why do we just go, I, you know, I, it's okay, you know, it's okay to drink UK brewed Cronenberg and, you know, for it to taste nowhere near as good as French Cronenberg. Same with Stella Artois. The UK brewed Stella Artois is utter rubbish compared to the Belgian brewed Stella Artois. It's completely different beer. It's completely different beer. It's lower in the ABV for a start by 0.6 of a percent. Why? Why? You know the worst thing about all this? I'm about to stop this review now, give my rating. And then I'm going to, I've got to do the same thing over again now with San Miguel. San, San Miguel. I've got to do San Miguel, UK brewed San Miguel versus versus. Spanish brewed San Miguel, and I can guarantee you, before I've even opened the bottle or the cans, that it's going to be a completely different beer. But I'm going to leave you with this. Why? Why do we just accept the short straw all of the time in the UK? Why? Why, or, or why do these companies, these big companies, these big corporate companies, think it's okay to pull the wool over? The British public's eyes all of the time, all of the time. Does Cadbury's taste like Cadbury's anymore? No. It, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. So UK brewed Stella. Undrinkable. Three out of ten for me. Absolutely undrinkable. Three out of ten for UK Stella Artois. On the other hand, Belgian brewed Stella Artois. Nothing wrong with it at all. I'd quite happily be in France or Belgium and, and, and sit in a cafe bar and have a few pints of that. Absolutely, would I? I'm going to say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Thank you very much to Rob for sending me the Belgian Brood Stella Artois. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.